Hi guys, are you ready for some aesthetics? Get it? Like ass? <laughs> Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for clicking on another video. In today's video we are doing a no jumping, super effective glutes and hamstrings workout. So you just need a seat or a raised platform, you can use your stairs and a resistance band or you can use a pair of tights if you've got one, just time in a loop, just anything to add a little bit of resistance or you can do it without, completely up to you. I'll talk you through each move. We're starting with a seated abductor press, ready, and go so sitting down you want to keep your heels together feet together and we're going to push out against the band so keeping good posture shoulders nice and low sitting up well we're just pushing the legs apart really working the abductors so really squeezing the glutes now i know it's a bit odd when you don't have the machine moving beneath you but this is still a super effective movement Keep going, making sure you're pushing out as far as you can and trying to hold it at that point of greatest tension, really pushing out. And your feet can just, you know, go with that push, okay? So keeping your heels together, we're not separating the feet, just pivoting on them. And rest for 20 seconds, well done. Then we're doing some single leg Bulgarian split squats. So kick off the band of torture, I mean gains, and pop one leg up on the raised surface and we're gonna do the split squats, okay? Ready, get some good posture, make sure the core is tight and go. So the aim with these is that you don't wanna overstep, okay? So if you feel like your lower back is super strained and you've got a really bad stretch in that quad that's on, in the quad of the leg that's on the bench, then just step a little bit closer to the bench, okay? So you should feel a little bit of a stretch in the quad, but you should be able to keep good form. And we're just dropping straight down. So the weight of the body is through the heel of the front leg. We're dropping straight down. So getting a literal single leg squat on that front leg, squeezing the glutes and the hammies. We're also getting a bit of quad work. And so we raise back up, keep going, doing really well. And rest, shake it off, and we'll go back down on the other leg. So again, making sure that we keep good form. You can grab a drink if you need to, stretch if you need to, in this little rest period. But setting up ready, and go. So if you ever feel like, oh, you're in the wrong position, just readjust, that's totally fine. Take your time to readjust. So we want good posture, I want that core nice and tight, I don't want an excessive arch in the lower back, so tight core, keeping that pelvic tilt locked, we drop straight down. I don't want the knee of the leg in front to go past your toes, if that happens then you need to sit back, you need to put your hips back, be sitting back as you drop, okay, you need to just readjust. So as we're at our lowest point, that front shin should be just about, just a little bit more than parallel or rather perpendicular, sorry, to the ground. And rest, well done. Cool, then we're getting down on the floor and we're doing a little move that I like to call hip razor walkouts. They're a bit funny, but once you get into them, they're good, they're good. All right, so we're lying on the floor. I say they're funny, it's just an interesting sensation, but you got this. Hips up, ready, and go. So like you're doing a hip razor, I want your hips up. Now what I want you to do is keep those hips up as we walk the feet out away from the body as far as we can and then back in towards the body. So we're going from glutes to hamstrings and back again. Meanwhile, we are pushing out against that exercise band. So if you forgot to put it back on, you know, feel free to put it back on or I'll catch you on the next round because we will be repeating these exercises. But um, yeah, you want to be walking out while pushing those knees out against the band, okay? And what I want you to do is keep the hips up. So I know that as you walk your feet further out, your hips will drop lower down, that's fine. I still want you to keep that core tight and the hips raised even in that position. And rest, well done. Then we're coming back onto that raised surface for the hip thrust. So you want to keep your shoulder blades, on the bench, feet far out enough so that when you come into the highest position of the thrust, your um, shins are straight up from the ground, ready and go. So drop the hips down, we squeeze the glutes as we bring the hips up. Again, I've still got the exercise band on and I'm keeping my knees pushed out to really target the glutes. 
you'll notice that I'm looking straight ahead. The reason I do this is to try and keep my ribs down and um, keep good posture to allow posture for maximum glute activation. So I'm squeezing as I push the hips all the way up. I've got a bit of a posterior pelvic tilt. My weight is through my heels, my feet are turned out. And rest, well done, well done. How are you feeling, how are you doing? We're going back in with a second set for some seated adductor presses. Ready and go. So pushing the knees out, keeping good posture, keep pushing. Sit however you're comfortable. I want the heels staying together and I want you really pushing. I know that as you get, the further you push, the harder it gets. And it's like you just want to let the legs fall in, but no, control it and hold it at that greatest point of tension. You're doing so, so well, guys. We're getting stronger with every move. I'm really proud of you for not only clicking on this video, but actually giving it a go, like trying and showing up. I'm so proud of you for that. I hope that you know how, how, how badass that is. That's really badass. Well done, you. And rest. Well done. And we're going back in with the Bulgarian split squats. So we're coming nice and low, keeping good posture. I love this movement, by the way, you guys. It is really effective. You can add weights to it when you get, when it gets more difficult, or sorry, when you get stronger to make it more difficult. And go as I tie my hair back. <laughs> so you wanna make sure that your knee isn't coming too far forward in front of the foot. If it is, just readjust. You want to make sure that your body is just dropping straight down, straight down as you as you feel that squat position in the front leg. The weight is through the heel of that front leg, so you should be able to wiggle those toes, chest up, shoulders down, relaxed, keeping the the leg that's raised a, a little bit passive. Sometimes there's a tendency to want to push up on that, like push down on the bench with that leg, and that's okay. You'll do that for a bit of stability, but try and keep it as passive as you can. That leg that's on the bench. Well done guys, and rest. Amazing, then we're coming down onto the other leg. And I want you to really try and squat down as low as you can while keeping good form, keeping that core tight. Really working the glutes here. Three, two, one, and go. Drop it down, nice and low. Doing so well, you guys. Keeping that good posture. Notice I just adjusted the, the leg in front. That's fine. If you don't set up perfectly initially, that's fine. Readjust. I want that core tight. Good posture. We're not trying to overstrain the lower back, which is why it's so important that you don't over lunge. I don't say these things just to nag at you. I'm not trying to be naggy. I just I want you to get the most out of this workout and to do things well and really enjoy it and stay injury free. So yeah, technique is everything. Keep going, you guys. You're doing so so well majorly proud of you. And rest, well done. And we're gonna come back down onto the mat, pop the band back on for some hip raiser walkouts. So the hips are up and we're walking out and back in and we're keeping those hips up as much as we can with that posterior pelvic tilt. Now when I say posterior, what I mean is ready and go. What I mean is you're not overarching your lower back. So I don't want you sticking out your bum. In fact, I want it almost like your bum is tucked in and it's just locked into that position with a nice tight core, strong core. So I'm keeping the hips up, I'm pushing the knees out and I'm just walking out on my heels and walking back to a flat foot. So the closer my legs are to my bum, the higher my hips will get and the more I'll feel it in my glutes. But the further they are out, the lower my hips will get, but I'm still keeping that straight line from shoulder to hip to knee and we're feeling it more in the hamstrings. You're doing so, so well, you guys. Keep going, don't let the knees fall in. And rest, well done. And we're gonna finish off this workout with some good old hip thrusts, an amazing glute exercise. So you just want your shoulders on the bench, looking forward, keeping that good pelvic tilt, core tight, feet apart, just a bit wider than hip width, ready and go and you want your feet turned out. When you come up to that tabletop position, you wanna come up all the way. So you've got that straight line again from the shoulder to the hip to the knee. 
Um, but what I want is your body to be in right angle. So I want your knee to be at like a right angle. So I don't want your shins too far out or too too close to your to your bottom. Does that make sense? So I don't want your feet too far out or too far close. Try and find that sweet spot where we get that perfect amount of glutes activation. We're really working the glutes here. Keep squeezing. Don't let your knees fall in. Keep pushing against that band. You're doing so well. I feel like I just keep telling you what to do, but it's because I'm for you. I'm here with you. I'm doing it with you. Last few and rest well done shake off the band of progress <laughs> we'll pick it up another day thanks so much for joining me you guys have a little dance and i'll see you back here for another video very soon love you so much well done